Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, I've been going through my model collection and I just thought I would uh, show off one or two of my um, builds that were from kits that were from some time back. So for instance this uh, Brewester Buffalo um, of Airfix was uh, the, the moulds for this were produced in the 1960s. Now <clears throat> Obviously, there's a lot of, lot of nostalgia for me in um, in building the older models, but there are some that I wouldn't touch with the barge pole. In fact, uh, I have had a couple of Airfix kits where I've attempted to build them, and then I just threw them in the bin because I just considered them a total loss. Um, but this this is one of the kits where I was able to actually manage to do something with it. I've got to be honest; it did have a bit of a kit bash. What happened was um, I was trying to build a special hobby, 172nd Brewster Buffalo, Buffalo, and that didn't go well at all. So what I did was I used some of the parts from that kit in order to enhance this Airfix kit. But all the fuselage and wings are the Airfix kit. Now, for you guys who know, um, the the airfix, airfix kits of that period had quite heavy um, rivet detail so basically all you need to do is to sand that down a bit and reduce it um, so it doesn't it isn't so prominent so some of the features that you don't usually find on an airfix kit I'd put some tubing in for the machine guns there this propellers from the um, from the special hobby kit as well apparently the propeller from the airfix kit isn't usable um i don't recall but there we go um quite a nice paint job uh, the markings are quite minimal um i can't even remember what squadron this was uh, allotted to although it's got like raf round walls this could have been um, um the australian air force Royal Australian Air Force uh, aircraft operating in Burma um, or one or two of the other Commonwealth um, squadrons operating at that time in, in that particular theatre. The interior detail for the um, uh, airfix kit was uh, pretty basic as well so I may have stolen parts from the um, special hobby kit in order to to just give a bit of interest on the interior but there you go that's uh, that's one of the old airfix kits that are in my collection that uh, turned out to be a much more enjoyable build than the more superior some would say um, special hobby kit and I'm just really pleased to have this in this this in my collection and I just thought I'd, I'd show you guys anyway thanks for watching